Hello friends. In this video, I'll be taking apart the Zotac Twin Edge OC Edition RTX 3070 and measuring the thermal pads. I ordinarily make mountain bike videos, but I recently injured my left hand and I had a lot of downtime, so I went ahead and made this video. Now, this is the video card that I use to render my uh, channel's videos with. It works really well. I also use this for Microsoft Flight Simulator, um, and that's where I have a lot of the problems. So after about 15 minutes of use, uh, it starts to uh, stutter quite significantly. I've looked at uh, the hardware info program and it doesn't show that it's thermal throttling, but it sure seems like thermal throttling is just due to the fact that it works really well. And then after 15 minutes, it just starts to crash or stutter. So I went ahead and replaced these thermal pads. It's, uh... Okay, here in the video, I'm taking off the screws on the back plate. Unfortunately, you can't see. There's just three of them. Overall, it's, it's pretty easy taking the screws up off. And, um, you know, you just have to open it gently. Uh, the, the thing that's keeping it together is the adhesion from the thermal paste and thermal pad. So it's not too much force that's required. And there's the inside the card. You'll see that the fan wires are color coded, which is really nice. It's really easy to put back together again. And then shortly I'll be taking the, the six screws off the main board so I can remove the back plate. There's about three thermal pads underneath it. And if you hang on to the end of the video, I'll show you the, the size for all three types of thermal pads used. Now, unfortunately, um, you know, I didn't see any gains with changing the thermal pads. Uh, that could be one of two reasons uh, that, I, that I've thought of so far. One is that the thermal pads that I bought are suboptimal quality. And the other possibility is that the thermal pads from Zotac are, are pretty decent and you really don't need to replace them. And I, I don't use this video card for mining, it's just for rendering videos for the YouTube channel and Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, so there's, there's not much heavy use on them. All right, so I'm gonna take those screws off. Yeah, that nasty thing on my finger is liquid bandage from where the gash was from my injury. So please excuse that, it's, it's not the most <laughs> pleasant thing to look at. Now, I, I went ahead and removed the back plate. Uh, and I really don't recommend that because it really doesn't make any difference whether you take it off or on. Uh, where you take it off or leave it on because uh, you can still take the back plate off regardless. You're just adding extra step for no apparent reason. Okay, again, nice and gentle pulling apart. There we go. And there you see a total of three thermal pads. You can see all three of them now. And that's three millimeters for the back plate. And those are the thermal pads that I use. Like I said, I, I didn't see any improvement, but I, I don't know if it helped or not. Uh, with the 3070, it's really hard to see what the, the VRAM temperatures are. Uh, so I couldn't really even get any objective data. So the, here is the total size, or the size of all the pads. Uh, so the VRM is 1.5 millimeters. The VRAM modules are two millimeter. And the back plate, as I already mentioned, is 30, uh, three millimeter. Uh, anyway. If you guys like this video, please make sure to thumbs up. Thank you.